Hello there, Javad is here. In this video, I will explain you the way and the paths that you will need to take to learn Revit more quickly and more easily. In this video, we will talk about the roadmap. We will talk about the resources that you have access to. And also, I will explain some of the tips that you need to be careful about to make your Revit journey more faster and easier. Now, we can talk about the Revit roadmap and the paths that you can take. For example, it is you and you want to be knowledgeable about Revit and Beam, and then you will understand that you have two ways. You can be an architect or engineer with the knowledge of Beam and Revit, or you can be an, a, beam, uh, a Beam specialist. If you want to choose the architect or engineer path, you need to know some tips. The first one is that you don't need to know everything, and having an intermediate level of Revit knowledge would be enough for you and having uh, knowledge about the basic beam uh, terms and processes would be great for you too also it is, will be enough to know Revit in your own discipline and in just one area for example if you're an architect you can uh, know Revit in architectural part or if you are a MIP engineer you need to know uh, Revit in MIP areas and the other thing that you can you need to consider is uh, you need to find the ways that you can implement your designs in Revit instead of just learning Revit uh, alone and it is a better use case for Revit for architect and engineer but if, you're, if you want to be a Beam specialist you need more than Revit you need to know some other softwares like Navisworks and uh, you need to have a great knowledge and good knowledge of Beam, uh, beam processes and Beam terms and after that to proceed in your career you need to know some advanced areas like dynamo and family creation too and it is better and it's a plus to know more than one discipline for example it is better to know architectural and structural together or if you can you need, it is a great thing to know architectural structural and map part all of them together and you will be a hero and beam hero and you can proceed in your work much faster now it's time to talk about resources i can say the best point to start is our revit full or a full course for beginners it is about 11 hour course it will uh, move you through the basics of revit and at the end we will create a full project in revit from 2d CAD and dw5 but there are some other resources that we are going to talk about them too. But if this video has been helpful for you, please don't forget to like this video to help this video to reach more people. After watching the course, there are some resources that you need to look at too. For example, let's introduce you some of the YouTube channels that you can go there and watch other tutorials. You can see on my channel, we have 130 videos right now. You can go and learn so many tips here. But other than my channel, there are some other channels that are great for you to learn Revit. We have the Revit Key channel, which is which has some great streams and some long form content for you. You can go and watch uh, his content too. He's great and he has some great content and awesome contents too. And then we have Revit Pure that is great. And uh, one of the best features that he has, he has uh, some uh, awesome and sweet and short videos for some confusing uh, topics in Revit for example railing and some other parts of Revit and there we have our beam groove which is great if you want to learn dynamo and some computational uh, topics in Revit and dynamo and then at the end we have RV boost and which uh, has a Revit snippet series that i like and also you can find some good uh, and awesome revit parametric courses there but after that let's uh, explore some of the websites that you can look uh, look at them too we have our taught beam website you can go to the tutorials and you can see all of the tutorials are categorized in here and you can find some inscape assets in here too and then we have our uh, revit help I don't suggest you to do go and just read them all uh, one by one but when you are confused about some topics you can go in here and search for example about phasing and then you will 
get access to all of the topics that are related to phrasing and you can read and it is a better it is a great place to understand the philosophy of behind some tools and then we have Revit Pure blog again it has some uh, great blogs too if you are a blog leader you can watch at watch at these two and it, is, it can be a great resource for you too the next resource i can tell you is books i'm not really a book guy but if you are a reader learner you can go with the book too i have two favorite books and i look at them some of the time and the first one is mastering uh, series by autodesk or cybex uh, publication and also we have another great book with uh, from paul fabin which is revit architecture essential i will put uh, both of those links in the description so make sure to check the description now it's time to learn some tips about the process and what to do to make our journey easier the first one and the most important one is don't waste your time on useless tips uh, and useless writing you need to do it once and you will learn much better and faster in comparison with writing the process and workflow in some old books just drop it out and you will learn much faster and the next tip that i can tell you about learning revit that you need to do projects guys do full projects uh, you can start with some videos that i have on channel for example we have a full project video for bathroom with revit and enscape in here we have another video for a full house design revit we will start from cat to revit and also you need to find some plans and start to modeling them and that will uh, challenge you and you will learn new things in that area and the last but not least is that you need to do it yourself don't just ask people to solve the problem for you you need to develop your problem solving skill and it will help you through the uh, journey you don't need to uh, know everything and sometimes you will encounter some problem that if you would research earlier and you had a, if you have a good problem solving skill you can find a solution but if you would uh, just uh, find someone to solve your problem, you will, be, you will uh, struggle in future problems. So research and find the uh, solutions by yourself and don't just ask one person to solve your problem in Revit. Now we can wrap it up and make sure to tell me your Revit level in the comments. And also, if you are deciding to learn Revit, make sure to watch this full course video. We will start from zero and we will uh, get you to a good level of Revit depth. I will see you on the next session.